Hello everyone, myself Soumya, Assistant Professor in CSE ML Department, MLR Institute of Technology. In this video, we are going to discuss about distributed consensus. So, coming to the overview of this presentation, this video covers what, what is mean by distributed consistence, what is the history behind this distributed consensus, what is mean by consensus protocol and what is this Byzantine general's problem. So, first of all, what is distributed consensus? So, in the previous uh, videos, we have discussed about consensus protocol. So, what is the need of consensus? As we know, blockchain is like uh, there is no central authority for blockchain to monitor. So, it is decentralized. So, there is no central authority to monitor the actions. Then how to add the transaction to the block or how to add the block to the blockchain without verification. If there is no central authority, who, who will verify the transaction, right? So, we have a procedure here that is nothing but consensus mechanism. Based on this consensus mechanism, all the parties, that means all the nodes in the network will make an agreement. So, that agreement you are calling as distributed consensus. So, what is that agreement whether to accept the transaction or to reject the transaction based on the validity of the transaction. So, whether the transaction is valid or not that can be decided by using this distributed consensus. As we know blockchain is a decentralized there is no central authority to monitor the actions that means there is no central authority to validate the transaction. So, for example, if I take a client server application. So, the client is sending a request to the server. So, what server will do? Server will verify whether the request is valid or not. If, if it is valid, then only it will allow the uh, action, right? Whatever this client is requesting, that will be allowed only if it is valid. So, here the server itself is checking that validation will be performed by the server. So, here server is a centralized authority. But in the blockchain, we do not have any server mechanism here. There is no central person to monitor the action. So, to validate the transaction. To validate that uh, transaction or any action. So, all the nodes in the network will make one agreement to validate the transaction. So, whether to validate the transaction, I mean whether the transaction is valid or not. So, that process is called as distributed consensus. So, using this distributed consensus, we can avoid double spending and other internet attacks. So, what does it mean by double spending? So, as we know, blockchain uh, is famous for cryptocurrencies. So, we have Bitcoin, the first ever cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. So, the cryptocurrency in the sense, it is only a digital currency. So, physically, we do not have this currency. So, as it is a digital currency, digital currency in the sense, we can consider it as a, a normal file. So, I can copy the file for multiple times in the same way the digital currency can also be duplicated and can be used for two actions, two purposes at the same time. For example, I have some two crypto, uh, two bitcoins, I am buying some uh, X item, at the same time I am buying some Y item. So, this X item is due to Bitcoin cost and this Y item is also 2 Bitcoins and I have only 2 Bitcoins. So, at the same time, I am spending this 2 Bitcoins for X item as well as for Y item also. This attack, this process is called as double spending, right? So, to, to overcome this problems, we need to perform this distributed consensus. So, distributed consensus in the sense, first we need to check whether the transaction is a valid transaction or not. So, if it is valid, then only we can add the transaction to the blockchain. So, if we do this uh, distributed consensus properly, then we can overcome this double spending and other internet attacks also. So, what is the history behind this consensus mechanism? So, what is the root for this consensus mechanism? So, in the 1992, we have some researchers. So, they have approached uh, a, a process to overcome this junk mail process. So, some spammers or intruders, they send some spam mails, right? So, for that purpose, they, they have designed a function called pricing function. So, the sender, whoever wants to send the mail, they need to solve this puzzle, the pricing function or the puzzle. So, this puzzle, the sender has to solve. So, to solve this puzzle, the sender has to engage or they have to invest some processing power. So, just like some processing power, internet power, they have to use some power to solve this puzzle. After solving that puzzle only, they can send the mail. So, if any intruder or the middleman, if they want to send any junk mail, they have to use this power, right? So, unnecessarily, they do not waste the power to send the junk mail. So, that is why because of this feature, they can overcome this junk mail concept. The same process 
uh, some other cryptographer he is a researcher in 1907 adam bat he proposed a similar function called sha1 secure hash algorithm 1 so in this also the same thing uh, the sender will send a puzzle i mean he will solve a puzzle and the receiver so while sending the mail in the subject only he will send some related thing right so if the receiver can validate this if it is a uh, what we call if, if if by seeing the subject he can say whether it is a proper mail or it is a spam mail so why because already sender have performed this algorithm sha1 to generate some key so the hint regarding this key will be sent in the subject part of that mail so if he is a proper receiver then he will identify okay this is a a valid mail it's not a junk mail so that by using this automatic process the spam mails will be uh, sent to the spam and the remaining mails will be posted in the inbox so this mechanism uh, was called as a hash cache so the similar thing we are using in the consensus also so in consensus also what we are doing we are giving a mathematical puzzle to the nodes or the miners whoever solves the puzzle they are going to validate the transaction they are eligible to validate the transaction so this hash cache mechanism which was introduced by adam back in 1997 this was the root for behind this pow that is proof of work mechanism consensus protocol so the famous consensus mechanism is proof of work but along with this proof of work we, we also have some other mechanisms like proof of stake distributed proof of stake proof of authority so many uh, proof of sorry uh, consensus mechanisms are there based on our requirement we can choose the different mechanisms but in the pow that is proof of work mechanism the root is actually hash cache so whoever solves a mathematical puzzle first then they are going to validate the transaction so once the transaction is validated or verified then that transaction will be broadcasted to the network so what is this consensus protocol so consensus protocol as we discussed earlier so it is a set of rules and procedures for attaining a unified agreement so here we have some nodes in the blockchain so they are making some agreement what is this agreement agreement con consists of set of rules and procedures so what are these rules and procedures contains so they are leading to find whether the transaction is a valid transaction or not so the same thing consensus protocols are nothing but these are the rules that define how different actors in a distributed ledger authenticate and validate the transaction added it to prevent different versions of the ledger from being created or previous transaction from being edited as we know Uh, we can't edit the transactions or we can't edit the uh, documents in the blockchain why because these are all immutable so once a document or once uh, a transaction is added to the blockchain that we cannot modify as it is a uh, immutable so by using this distributed consensus upon agreeing that upon if all the nodes are accepting this transaction this transaction will be added to the blockchain without without uh, allowing or with uh, by preventing this modifying of this ledger So the basic aim of this consensus protocol is to overcome the problem. This is a problem. This is a classic problem in the distributed computing system. So we have existing system that is distributed consensus system. So in that is distributed computing system. The problem is a Byzantine general's problem. So to overcome this problem, this will be useful. Consensus protocol will be used. But what about this problem? What, first of all, what is this problem, and how our consensus protocol will solve this problem? We will see. so this is a, a coordinated attack so actually byzantine generals problem in the sense we have two generals here a and b so a resides at one place and b resides at another place in the middle we have a place so these both generals needs to communicate and they have to attack on this so consider it as a village so on this village a both a and b has to attack at the same time so now if they coordinated among themselves see all the attackers they are attacking at the same time so it's a coordinated attack then they will get victory but if there is no coordination uncoordinated attack so some attackers are attacking and some are traitors and some are we have delayed attack so because of this miscommunication it may lead to defeat so what are the problems with this defeat this is actually like a long back problem we don't have any communication process in between a and b 
so they have some messengers to pass the message from one place to other place so now what are the problems here what might be what what, what are the different things it may lead to the defeat situation so for example general a will hesitate to attack at the appointed time if he does not get the acknowledgement from general b so general a he he fixed some time for example thursday at 2 o'clock he gave some time to be they have planned to attack on the village at on thursday at 2 o'clock so who is passing this message a's messenger so a's messenger is passing this message to b at the same time a should get the acknowledgement from b so if a is not getting any acknowledgement fr from b then he may hesitate to attack so this is one possible uh, way to defeat and next the enemies could capture general a's messenger and interrupt the message and replaced with a fake message so a's message a's messenger should travel to b through this place only through this village only so at that time this villagers may uh, may may caught this a's messenger right and he they may change the message so they may modify the message or they may hide that message right so this message may be changed uh, how how it will be changed so instead of thursday he may change the message to friday at 4 o'clock like this if the ace messenger caught by the villagers so this is another reason and general me may may hesitate to attack as he cannot verify the authenticity of the message so a has sent the message to b but there is no authenticity so b doesn't have any confirmation that he got the message from a only why because there is no authenticity on that message general b may send an acknowledgement message but there is no assurance that general b's messenger will not caught by the enemies and the message intercepted or replaced so a has sent the message to b b has received the message and b has sent some acknowledgement to a but while sending this acknowledgement this villagers may caught this b's person for sending this acknowledgement they may change the acknowledgement also right so what might be the acknowledgement b b is ready uh, to fight on thursday at 2 pm this is the acknowledgement from b to a but this villagers or this attackers they may change so b is not ready on thursday so b is ready on friday like that they may change so because of these reasons and we have some other so the lack of confidence or doubt between the generals may tackle down the soldiers in the army leading to some deserts so along with all these problems so they may not have some confidence on them so some soldiers so a is confident but b is not confident so if b is not confident all the soldiers uh, related to this b's general they may not participate so it may be delayed attack or it may they may they may be some of them are traitors right so because of this it may lead to defeat so to overcome this problem consensus protocol will be used so according to consensus protocol uh, what is consensus protocol they are making one agreement so upon this agreement everyone has to follow this agreement so if a is giving something the b has to follow that so they are making some agreement like that if all the all the nodes in the network are following that then that transaction is valid that means that action is valid so by using this consensus mechanism what what it is providing to solve this byzantine problem the first one is authenticity so easily verifiable and it is genuine and it is not tampered with so we are using it with the blockchain right so this consensus mechanism is providing authenticity that means it is checking whether the transaction is valid or not it is not tampered with any of the attackers and unity so collective agreement by all the parties so we have some nodes in the network four nodes if majority of the nodes accept this then only this will be accepted that means the transaction is added to the network so we have four nodes among four if at least three nodes are accepted then only the transaction is valid so that is unity collective agreement by all the parties and fault tolerant a few traitors or hackers cannot compromise the process that's what the same thing if one person is not consider he made the he might be a traitor so he doesn't want to agree on this so we can leave him the majority people are accepting then we can accept the transaction so like this by providing these three features the consensus mechanism will solve the problem of this byzantine's general 
so that is about distributed consensus so in this video we discussed about what is distributed consensus and the history behind this distributed consensus what is consensus protocol and how this consensus protocol is solving bijenta general problem thank you